And now to technology. One of Apple's thousands of iPhone applications created a buzz this week after the technology was used to paint a cover for the June 1st New Yorker magazine. But there was no actual paint involved, just an iPhone and the app called Brushes. Sharon Alfonsi checks it out. From a distance, George Colombo might look like any other cell phone clutching New Yorker. When you're sitting there and you're working on your iPhone, do people know what you're doing? Nobody can tell. <laughs> but look closer. Colombo is actually creating fine art with his fingertips. You choose the, the color and you choose the brush stroke. Using a $4.99 iPhone application called Brushes, Colombo digitally paints, capturing dozens of iconic New York scenes, stroke by stroke. And how long does it take you to do one of these paintings? It can be done very fast, but if I want to do something a little more elaborate, it takes me about uh, half an hour, one hour. Half an hour, an hour? Yeah. That New Yorker cover, it took less than an hour. But it isn't just the speed of this kind of painting converting artists, it's the portability. Stefan Cardos is a Disney animator by day, but at night he leaves the pencils at home and paints Los Angeles with his iPhone. If I see a, a nice sunset light that I, I want to paint, I don't have to take 10 or 15 minutes to get ready with my easel and everything. I just take it, start, and it's done. Cardos was one of the first users of brushes, painting those sunsets and turning smudges into the glowing lights of a liquor store. Some 40,000 other users have downloaded the application since August of last year. The iPhone and brushes are just a tool, like Photoshop is a tool, like your gouache are a tool, like your acrylic are a tool. It's just a different tool. This is art. Look at the detail in the paintings by Susan Murtaugh. The Wisconsin retiree's work is currently being shown at a local gallery. She says the application is a stroke of genius. The wonderful thing is you can carry it in your pocket, you can do it anytime you want, and the most brilliant part is there's no cleanup. Finger painting never looked so impressive. Sharon Alfonsi, ABC News, New York.